Hello friends, today we are going to discuss, uh, in fact we are going to perform a lab using OSPF for road and dynamic routing. We are using the topology we used in our previous video of static routing. Here you can see that we have two different sites, site 1 and site 2. We have three different departments on site 1 which are directly connected to a layer 3 switch which is then connected to a router similarly on site 2 we have three other different departments directly connected to a layer 3 switch and layer 3 switch is connected to a router <coughs> the networks being used on site 1 are mentioned here admin department is using VLAN 10 with network this and HR department is using VLAN 20 with network this. Similarly, VLAN 30 is being used by the finance department. On the other hand, IT department is using VLAN 40, civil department is using VLAN 50, and electrical department is using VLAN 60. We are using different networks for each department. Here you can. Mm, mm, um, here we can um, um, communicate one department with another department on each side. However, uh, in order to um, achieve the communication um, between the two sides, we require a kind of routing on the routers we deployed here. In previous video, we discussed the static routing in which we added all the uh, uh, networks of other site in this router and similarly we added all these networks on this router so that these uh, departments would be able, uh, should be able to communicate with, with other uh, uh, sites in department Today we are going to deploy OSPF on our routers. So let's start by configuring OSPF on router 1. System view. Here let me show you the current configuration of the router. We have DHCP enabled, DHCP pools for three networks of site A. We have um, an interface 0 slash 0 with uh, IP address 10.1.1.1 and we have um, an interface 0 slash 1 with sub interfaces. 0 slash 1.10, 0 slash 1.20, 0 slash 1.30 and the IP addresses are assigned accordingly as mentioned here. We don't have any kind of routes on this site so we are going to configure OSPF on this router. In OSPF, we basically uh, uh, configure or define the networks which are directly connected to the router. So we first will enable OSPF on this router. OSPF process ID will be required here. Say for process ID 1. Now we will define the area area we use area 0 here now network we have to define all the networks being directly connected um, all the networks directly connected to this router so 192.168.10.0 now we will you define wildcard mask Next network will be 
twenty dot zero. Thirty dot zero. And another network will be ten dot one dot one dot zero. That's it. We have configured OSPF on this router. Now we will configure OSPF on the other router. Here we will configure all these networks on this router. OSPF process ID 1 area 0 network we have 192, 168, 40.0, 50.0, and 60.0. Last You can see that this router has been become a neighbor of the other router. Means OSPF is working fine now. If now let's see whether these remotes most are able to communicate with other side source thing 192.168.40.101 yes fifty dot one oh one it is accessible similarly one means admin department is capable of accessing all these departments. This is because the OSPF of this router has propagated all its routes to the router 2 and similarly the router 2 has propagated its routing table or shared its routing table with router 1. That is why both the routers have shared their routing tables with each other in order to achieve the routing uh, symmetry. I hope you have understood the main idea or the configuration, uh, main idea how to configure the OSPF on routers. If you have any QD regarding this lab, you can ask me in my comments. Thank you.